May I come to the congregation and say that I am sorry for the last video having none of my commentary because that's that's why y'all really come to watch my videos. May I also come to the congregation and say that I was a lazy, lazy fuck and my head was hurting and that's why I didn't have any commentary for my last video. And one more thing for the congregation. Kazi is hard as shit. So Right now we have uh we have some gameplay for you man. We got a uh, Kazia brawler alert, unranked matches. You know, I was just messing around. I finally got good enough internet to play Tekken at school. So guess what? I play Tekken at school. I got gangster Kazia with the baseball bat. So right now um I found this guy on unranked He's a third down, so I came in not really expecting much. I wanted to practice some stuff with Kazuya as I get kicked in the fucking head. Also with these matches, you see varying levels of of difficulty. I think this is the only like uh Dan that I fought in this entire like session that I had. And it's hard, I'm trying with Kazuya, Kazuya is very simple, which makes him very hard in the long run. He's a machine. Electrics. Those are hard already. And then he has a very short move list. Can't really mix people. He has one good mix. Hell sweep, which is unseeable, so you have to guess. Hell sweep, down forward, the down forward one two or down forward one four or down forward uh, four two series is very tough. And he has that grab, which is awesome. You can do that out of cross with that. He also has uh, a uh, axe kicks, and that's it, pretty much. And the rest are punishes. So I'm like, I'm trying to do electrics, but here's the thing: I can't. I can do that on command now, but I can't do electrics on command. It kind of just come out when they feel like it and shit. Oh, oh wait, commercial break. And we're back with another fucking match. So um, I think it's the same guy. So, Kazuya, he's a, he's a mixed bag. He was my first character that I ever learned of Tekken. Yeah, no, I know. I, I thought it'd be Jen, but no, it was Kazuya. Because he, he had the shortest move list in Tekken 5. Or Tekken 4, I believe. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I didn't even know he could do electrics back then. Because, like, I think this was the first game, or, like, the second game they showed you, like, Cause like in the move list they have, um, you know, uh, Electric Wing God Fist. I think in either Tekken Tag Tournament 2 or this game they say Electric Wing God Fist. And then lower it says Electric Wing God Fist pressed simultaneously. Which means, like, it's, it's that time. You get the spark. And I don't really do that at all in this gameplay. I really don't like using um, that with Kazuya. I mean with Mishima's. But with Kazuya, you really need it. It's like that that sets up everything. But you know, he's still a fun character to use even without that stuff. As I kick, I get in the fucking face. It's so simple really. So we started off. I love that move too. Uh, that 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 move that leaves him crumpled because you could fuck up an electric and then just it that, it comes out. And if they're throwing a button out, they get hit. Great! Fucking great, and it's a mid. So I'm trying to finish off with the grab, being a little greedy. And that's what greedy gets you, you get full. Now, now I'm full. Oh my goodness, hold her up to the sky. Oh wait, we have an uh, interference? And we're back. So, um... <laughs> actually, I have a story time to tell you before the real story time. I think it would be appropriate here. What story should- Cause I know the story I'm gonna tell next time And everyone's gonna hate that one This one I should tell you about the story Of when I got Uh, cheated on actually Yeah, I should tell this one, this would be fun So Um There was one time It actually leads into The next story Which is great So I was um I was dating this girl Um me and 
the person that I was dating before her, we was going through stuff and all that jazz. And this girl I was dating. I usually date black I like I say I like Asian girls, but most of the girls I dated before high school and during high school was black. Fucking weird. But um She was she wasn't like she was like a ratchet girl, but big tits. Ginomo natural. I was like, yes. This is a great day. Glorious day for the world. And she chose me. Go figure. I'm blocking that. And I practiced with my own I put it for my own rage art. Seven wings. So she was like Ginomo hot. But she was a ratchet girl, right? And I remember her asking for my help in class one time. And I was like, alright. And that started off a little, uh, a small little, small little thing. <clears throat> Grab, break the neck. And that started off a small thing. And, um, I will tell you the rest when we get through this interference shit. There we go. Oh, look at this dapper gentleman. Look at this dapper gentleman. Oh my goodness, we're getting it in. Um, this is a Marauder? Yes, so this will be a good match with this Kazi I barely know. But, um, anyway, we started, you know, talking. She was really goofy, really cool person and all of that. And I remember I was like, man, I really don't want to, you know, mess this one up because I, I barely get any girls talking to me in the first place. So I was like, whatever, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll chill on it. So, ooh, did you see that shit? Hype, hype. But, um, yeah, she was really goofy and everything. We started talking. And then, it's like, out of nowhere, she was like, enamored with me, like, couldn't get enough for some reason. Yeah, get enough of me, right? I could barely get enough of me, shit. But, um, for some reason, she, she was like that. So, I was like, alright. And, we would, you know, we would, you know, hang out and shit. It's fun times in, in the world of, of Justin. Look at that. Oh my god, I deserve it after what I did to him, I guess. But, I should have killed him. I should have. And, slowly but surely, her family was ratchet as shit. Like, like, think of any, like, ratchet household and that's them. So I was like, you know, I can't blame the sins of the family upon the sins of the daughter. So, I, I was, you know, I was with him. Or whatever. You know, turns out she she starts um, I think she had like a summer job or something like that. She had a summer job or something like that, right? And I was like, cool. So I'm at home, you know, I'm home with the summer, hanging out with the dudes, you know, all that jazz. We doing we doing evil shit. And she called me one day, and was like, hey, I got this new coworker. Um, uh, you know, he's in the army. You know, he's kind of cool. And I was like, it's kind of weird to tell me about your coworkers. See, this is why I should listen to my brother. You all know who he is. That's why I should listen to him. Because if I would have called him, he would have been like, you should dump her right now before you get your feelings hurt. But, you know, this is around the time I thought I knew everything. You know, like a week ago. And I was like, you know, I don't need no advice. Fuck that shit. I got it. She ain't gonna cheat on not me, not her. I'll fucking learn. So, you know, she, she kept talking about this guy. I saw the signs. <laughs> like, it was like, I saw the signs. There was a big stop sign. There was a big yield. There was a nice U-turn sign around there. I just skipped through all that shit. And eventually, the cops was behind me. Ooh, fucking sick. The devil. Eventually, the cops was behind me. Telling me to pull over. <laughs> And when I got out the car, I just saw a couple of hearts just walking towards me, started beating the shit out of me. Because I should have seen the signs. I should have seen it. But anyway, she kept talking about this guy, right? And then she was like, well, you know, I got eight hour shifts now. I was like, cool. Nice. She's a baby cup, guys. So, she was like, cool, right? But then she was like, she used to call me on a break, right? And soon after, she wouldn't call me on breaks no more. I'm like, huh. I'm like, I'm like, uh, come again? You know? Come again? I tried calling on our break. I think, okay. Here's a question for the congregation. 
Which one is worse? If her phone, like if you call her and it doesn't answer on the first ring, right? No, like if you call her and go straight to voicemail on her break, or if you call her and it goes through all the shit and it goes to voicemail. Which one's worse? Cause on mine, it went all the way through into voicemail. And I thought that was worse because it's like, I can understand if it's off, like you on break, bitch. But no, it her phone is on. <laughs> she just ain't she just ain't get it ten times in a row. So I was like, okay, hold up. Things might not be looking as great. It's good old Justin. As I thought, right? So one day I'm I'm like like, and she could tell I was upset. So she tried to make it up to me and stuff. She ch yeah she tried to make it up to me. She was like Justin, you know. Anything I do, she started getting real lovey-dovey. Which is a sign. Well, now I know it's a sign. But I didn't know it was a sign back then. That's a sign that she's cheating on you. And another sign is, like, anytime I was, like, mess some stuff up, she'd be like, oh, don't worry about it. That's a sign, fellas. That is a s I got fucked up by that Yoshimitsu. Holy shit, I don't know what he does. He, like, took away the sword, took back in the sword and shit. I ain't got time for that. But, um... Yeah, she 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 started acting real real different, man. And one day I'm chilling. I think I'm playing. It's probably either 2K16 or no, not 2K16. It was one of those. It was one. Of, it was like a. It was an old school two. Like I'm thinking 2K16 because that was a great game. I'm thinking like 2K like 13 or some weird shit, right? So I get in there and. Um, I'm, it's, it's still the summertime, mind you, and I'm chilling, and I'm loving life, and she was like, and she texted me on her break, I was like, listen, what's, you know, what's happening, you know, and she was like, oh, you know, I just, I was just at home, and I was, you know, I was at home, and I was with the dude from work, and I lost it, I was like, huh, you lost what? Um, <laughs> like, I don't know what you lost, but I can help you find it. Like, what happened? What'd you lose, right? And she was like, well, I lost something important to me. I was like, okay. Now I'm in panic mode. Because I don't remember when the person that I like to call my girlfriend now lost something, and I went fully ballistic. So I was like, what the fuck did you lose? You know? And she was like my virginity and I'm like yeah, I swear to God I felt my heart it sunk a little bit like it sunk a good bit you know cuz like you know that moment where all time stands still and and you just feel all pain in the world <laughs> like that's like I felt that I was like what the Fuck. Like you lost your virginity. Mind you, I'm a virgin at this time. So like you lost your virginity. Uh you had a perfectly good boyfriend to do that with, bitch. I like I was right here. Like I, like I like you could have got some bad dick first and then you could have moved on to more experienced dick, but no, you just moved straight to experienced dick like it's okay. Oh, here's also a question for you, um not to, you know, get sidetracked. If you're a virgin, right? And you're a guy or a girl. What's better? Experience or, or virgin? I think most guys would say experience. And most girls would say experience. But I just want to figure out. Speak to me congregation. Anyway. And she was relishing in it. She was like. Well she wasn't relishing. She was like. Oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry and shit. So I, I was like. Like why even bring this to my attention? Like, I was, I was really pissed, like, and when I get pissed, I start talking in my New Orleans accent, like, I, like, I was living there for the past five years and shit, I haven't lived there in, like, eight years, so it was like, come on, you know, come on, baby, 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 <laughs> I, man, I started, I started made, making the voodoo doll and everything, man, I was about to fuck her up, anyway, I, like, and plus, I, I've dealt with, I've dealt with breakups before, I think this was the first one that she, like, she was, like, but you understand, right? And I was like, no, bitch, I don't understand. What do you mean understand? There's no understanding to, to take place. And then she she was like, okay, I'm sorry. My dumbass got back with her. 
And what happened two weeks later? I, she calls me, right? It was during a break, right? And I hear it. She was having sex with the other dude. Oh my god. I almost threw my phone at the fucking wall, man. My dad would have killed my ass. I would have took that ass beating up. I didn't do it. But I was justified in doing it. But god damn it, man. I'm living a better life now. That's my story, man. And I'm sticking to it. That's my gameplay and I'm sticking to it. It's Victor fucking Freeze. I'll see y'all next time.